What's the deal, family man? Welcome back to the channel, bringing you the realest and rawest reactions on YouTube. Today, we got another banger for y'all, man. So, look. We got walking through the whole Hoover set during the most dangerous time of the year. 40 people shot that week. Uh, this one brought to us by... I don't even know how to say that, bro. I don't know how to say that, and it almost looked like it could be a diss for another hood in L.A., so I'm going to just, yeah, I don't know how you say their name, but if you know how to say their name, let me know in the comments, man, but we going, uh, The Real MVP TV, okay, TRN, okay, The Real MVP TV, that's who it is, all right. So we gonna run this one up from them right here, man. They be doing a lot of like hood videos all over America and stuff. Uh, Y'all know how there's all types of channels for that. So we gonna check this one out right here. If you guys got more videos you want me to react to, um, anything you want me to check out, get at me in the comments, get at me on the socials. Also, <clears throat> get at me on Patreon, man. I upload a bunch of crazy videos two times a week over there. Uh, so if it's only a dollar, you get access to all the videos. I'm going to do giveaways on 100, 200, all the way up to 1,000 uh, subscribers over there. So if you don't want to miss out, get up over there, man. And it's only a dollar. That's literally like an Arizona, bro. You get a month of videos. So go run me up. Let's get straight into this, man. He pulled out that thing immediately. He pulled out that thing off rip. Yeah, man, yeah, man. I got a bad dog in us right there. We was about to go back and get the shooting at the niggas. Who this fight then? The really deep, side of the streets. All that good shit, you know what I'm saying? One time? Ooh. Well, since your man's gone, the intro on you. The real MVP signed to the streets, they know know what's going on. We right here through the Hoovers, this the trenches. My trenches, as you can see on Hoover, is going down. All of us right here, hey Trey Hoovers, we used to beef with each other when we was younger. Sure. 81st and 84. <laughs> Over what though? Was, Some kids shit? Kids shit. Like real kids. We was young as a motherfucker. Yeah, we was like, A4 you know, Riders. They don't know him. We was A4 Riders. They was on 81st. They was THBs. We used to beef with each other. But now we all is one type deal. 81st and 84th, it's always been tension. But we all H.R. Hoover though. That's cool that it never really led to nothing serious, nothing split up like that. I ain't gonna lie, one time it almost got serious. We was from A4 Riders, my boy. I don't even know where he, I don't know where he at. I don't know where he at right now, but my boy's name Armani. He was off from Aparada. He was coming from school one day. You saw y'all see that right there, man? It's unfortunate how it be, you know, in certain areas in LA, just anywhere really where it's down bad like that, where you in the trenches, you in the hood, want the wild, whatever's going on. Uh that's how it be, man. I'm sure if y'all if y'all be on Instagram, whatever, you seen the, the little memes, how people be, how black people be with somebody driving up the street or a car you don't know coming up the street or a car driving too slow up the street because you don't know what's going to happen, bro. You don't know what's going to happen. I catch myself, whether I'm in the hood, whether I'm somewhere in the suburbs, whether I'm, it, I could be anywhere, bro. If I'm sitting outside in the front, and I see a car driving by that I ain't seen before, or a car driving way too slow. I'm over. Here. I'm on edge. I'm on edge. It just. It just is what it is. Cause, cause of the reality of shit, bro. So it's kind of unfortunate. Uh, a lot of people don't get to see this type of uh, lifestyle, but it's and it's unfortunate. It got to be that way. But that's just what it is. You see a car you don't know coming up the street. You don't know who that is. You don't know who could be in that car. You don't know if they try to uh, attack somebody, shoot somebody, kill somebody. You don't know if they looking for you or the other people across the street or down the street. But either way, you gonna just li you gonna wait until they already got the drop on you to find out. So then you gotta keep your thing on you to make sure you straight. See what's going on. And just because of that, that might lead to you getting arrested with with the thing on you. Cops pulling up with the thing on you. So it's a catch twenty two, man. THB jumped him. He went to his family members and uh and got a strap, a deuce deuce. He came back like, man, uh, THB jumping. What do you want? So we uh niggas out hang with right now today. We was about to go bust on them. We walking through the alleys, we was trying to go find them niggas. We couldn't find nobody. We came back up over here and got caught with the gun. These niggas packed my boy out. We was about to go back and get the shooting at the niggas. How did that shit get worked out? 
older homies. Because mm. we from 84 Riders, they was like mm. more tied into Hoover because they was called THB, Tiny Hoover Boys. So they was more tied into Hoover than us. And we used to whack their shit out. These niggas got the tripping. Older, our older homies, my cousins, uncles, all that, they tripping. Like, nigga, y'all whacking out the H, nigga. Y'all little niggas gonna get put on Hoover. Real small clicks in the Hoover hood. We can walk through the gang alley. Walk through here. Yeah, we walk into the one. We gonna y'all gonna get a video of us running from crash and all. Yeah, we walk into the one. Man, this nigga just got off. This nigga just got off his job at Amazon, bro. <laughs> they said, bro, when you off work, bro, I'm, on, I'm off work at three, man. Hey, hey, uh, real MVP pulling up at three thirty, bro. You better be ready. Bro, ain't even changed the clothes. Got the Amazon vest on. <laughs> We gonna y'all gonna get a video of us running from crash and all that cause they might pop out. Y'all got one of them Ricky alleys. No words, we got the Ricky Ain't no alley. Ricky. <laughs> Ain't nobody getting Ricky. If y'all don't know who Crash is, cause you're not from LA or California, Crash is, is uh I forgot what it stands for, but that's basically like gang unit. So Crash is basically a bunch of uh cops, whatever, gang gang unit cops, whatever. If they see a bunch of dudes hanging out and they expect these and they suspect these dudes is uh from a gang or they know these dudes is from a gang. They can go run up on them if it's three or more people. They can run up on them, you know, uh, uh, detain them, all that stuff. Like, California don't really got RICO cases, but they got, like, uh, uh, gang enhancement for when you go to jail. So instead of getting, like, a RICO case or something, they'll just lock up a bunch of gang members. And because they know you from a gang, can prove you from a gang, you'll take something from five years and it'll be ten years. Or five years and instead it's fifteen years, whatever. One year instead of one year is eight years. Just because you're from a gang. Um, they do that in California instead of Rico's. And then the crash unit is how they catch you slipping. They get all y'all. They round you up. Whoever got warrants, whoever got, uh, whoever on probation, parole, got a gun on them, whatever it is, they try to wrap you up. And they can pull up out of nowhere. You know, our alley. And they ain't dumb enough to come through that alley. They'll oh, tell you. They ain't dumb. Y'all in the hoop in the alley? Yeah. Take us out this club. Yeah, buddy. come play yeah. if you want to. But I don't game, man. For the police officers, I don't game, man. The crash told me, they said, you know the dude with the long thing in front of his face? Yeah. I said, no, I don't know. I don't game, man. <laughs> nigga, my, my smoker oh, cousin, look at this. He made this into his house. He up in there right now. Nasty! 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 Nasty bugs. What that plant? That's the set. This is Miss Yard, man. They always cover up my boy Devious hit up. These buildings right here used to go down too, man. Yeah, I used to live up here. Get knocked out right here. I ain't gonna DPs and put ons right here and all that. <laughs> this right is here. the spot. This is legendary. I ain't gonna lie to you. What make this motherfucker DPs legendary? DPs and put ons, bro. You see these? You see those? How that that shit hanging right there? Who this right now? That's the homie. You see how that shit hanging right there? Mm -hmm. I used to climb up there when I was little and watch all the DPs, put on dog fights, all that shit. Bust his fucking windows out, turn up his shit, sock the bitch in her jaw, like, you know, drop the motherfucker. You <laughs> 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 oh yeah, but well, let's go to Fig side. That's the more treacherous side anyway. 81st and 84th, like I'm telling you, 84th right here, that's my clock. 81st, you about to go to their clock. Yeah, 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 I got a bad song, Gorillas right there, man. You didn't know what's going on. Oh, Baby Stone Gorillas. Nah, that was Baby Stone. Nah, that was Baby Stone Gorillas. I don't give a fuck. Who that was? Back in the days, this is my jurisdiction. I didn't go past this. I didn't want to run into them niggas like that. I used to be dangerous, but them niggas were dangerous over here. 81st and 8th was real dangerous. I didn't go past 82nd. I used to be on 83rd and 84th. Who's this nigga? Westside Hoover. Tiny Hoover boy. These apartments right here, that's where I used to live. Niggas know not to play with us. I used to live here. This is my street right here, Mesky. Oh, yeah. We about to enter the famous one, man. That's the kitchen. Hoover. Going where the homies hanging at when you come through this alley. You can keep going straight or you can come through the middle right here. It's catching, catch all the locals doing their little dirt in the back. Number six. These are like the ones from GTA, that one hood. These motherfuckers janky. Come through running through here, you might get snatched up. Never come out. Running through the back, you might not make it through the front. This shit right used here. to be booming. This right here, right here, million dollars. In put off. I ain't gonna lie to you. Million dollars, you wanna be a dope boy? Million dollars. The green one. Well, that's all it it's the green one. I ain't gonna be set for like five hours, watch you make 1500. I got real close to him in like middle school. Elementary, around my time, elementary was beefing hard as a motherfucker, right? Couldn't even be over here, really. They would have fucked me over. 
What's these? By guys? myself. Mm -hmm. Mad ass ain't they? They know what's the fuck going on. Mad, Mad ass ain't Don't live super. Don't live too super. Y'all know about T super too. This is the prime. These the apartments right here. This what got me real congested. This what got everybody know. This will let everybody know we ain't playing that shit over here. Go right through this motherfucker. This these bushes right here saved my life. They got a crash. Got up on me in the front. I had to run all the way through here. I stashed my gun right in these bushes. I went up, boom, stashed it, pop, hit that motherfucker. They caught me, though. That's the right that's here. The ring right there. <laughs> he said, bro, hit that. They caught me, though. That's the whole thing about Crash, man. As soon as they pull up on you, they pull up out of nowhere. They'll pull up on you quick, bro. And uh, because of that, they can do whatever they want, bro. Like, when I was in middle school, like, when I was in middle school, bro, I had a little crew of homies, man, and we got put into gang, we got put into gang, as a gang unit, gang files, whatever it was, bro, it, this was in middle school, dog, this is in middle school, bro, I'm not kidding you, bro, we could not hang out, three of us at all, if three of us together was hanging out with each other, bro, we was gonna get suspended, potentially expelled from school, because uh, we was identified as a gang, so, basically, once that happened, and then police got into it, and then there was, like, potential, like, charges that could have been had. They said, look, y'all are a gang. We putting y'all in a gang. We're, we're, we're listing y'all as a gang. This is the name we putting y'all under. This is the evidence and information we got to classify y'all as a gang. And if you guys hanging out, three or more, three, if we see three of y'all together that we presume to be in this gang, y'all are getting suspended, maybe expelled, whatever, from school, from the district, all that. And that's what happened, bro. And and then, and that's in middle school, bro. So the, basically, the security guards was the crash unit at the middle school. You feel me? But if you go outside and you in real life, that's that's what that is, bro. Three of y'all together, they could pull up, boom. Hey, come here, bro. Hey, what you got on you? Oh, you on this? You on? This? Hey, you going to jail? But we taking you in, walk you out. So it's crazy like that. That's where everybody get their bullshit. Squabs and all that. DPs put on. Who I had squabbles back here? Right there in the middle. Yeah, they ain't, they ain't really front to say you ain't had a squabble right there. You know what I'm saying? A lot of my I ain't gonna lie to you. You not really front to say you ain't squabble nobody right here. We line them up with niggas like him. You know what I'm saying? Young, aggressive bulls or hoover. Right here. We put you right here. Yo, back against the gate, you can't run. We put niggas like Goob, Goob, Goob in there. Wow, hyenas. If they really want to get ugly, Part we're going to put Google. And I went to jail right here for the strap. 16 years old, man. They ain't even had a porch right here, nothing. It was all bushes. I came ran back here, thing I was stashing the thing, they came right here and got me. Uh, but, fuck is you doing? You going to jail, boy. I so hope you ain't from the land, you don't know Africa or African kids. I, so I wouldn't even guess where she from. So She's so logged in over here, I wouldn't even guess where she from. She from 9-0, yeah. real good over here, nobody so touch her. She from yeah. the eye. They bud, nah, no. From over there. That means she got a respect then. Respect. She from the Her Her sons is low from over here. Bigger road right there. It's a hole at the corner right now. When we was younger, we don't be on we bullshit to, like that no look, more. When we, when we was younger, younger we used to beat no them bitches up. Can no, Can no bitch be right here. I swear to God, they already know. Gonna drop your bitch off right here. She gonna be robbed, beat up, all the shit. We was younger on God. Pimps, all that. This they yard? know about us. Oh, yeah. This yard is did. Off too. They not gonna to come right here to drop that, that bitch off, fool. These the bitches were being terrorized, young. They gonna probably hit them back streets and then one ways over there. They not gonna hit the street to drop the bitches off. Yeah, no, we not. We wasn't even asking questions if them bitches was from the they pimps was from the set or nothing. We should just terrorize them bitches. Look, yeah, you know this. You Look, you see they leaving right now. This the, was on. This the general <laughs> yard right here. Like you can't you can't have a mixture of pimping and gang banging in the same mix. It's gonna cause traffic on our street. Making the money in the set. Who y'all ain't feeding it? Extortion. You know what I'm saying? Oh, extortion. Extortion. That's just the way it is right there. Basically, what he, what they trying to say is like, how you going to be over here? We do it. It's two separate things. Pimping and gangbanging is two completely separate situations. Sometimes they might get intermixed and then it's going to get real messy. But they they really two completely separate things. So if you got gangbangers that's on one block making money, doing their thing, doing their stuff, they can't have pimps over there. Bringing girls and bringing that, bringing outside people that's trying to get the girls that ain't even from the areas at all, trying to just get their little thingy thing, get their little thing off, whatever. You can't have that because then there's too much mixing going on. If you got cars pulling up all day and girls walking the street, street walkers and all that, you won't have more police activity, which makes it hotter for the gangbangers and makes, makes it hotter for them to do what they got to do.
and, and vice versa, the same thing. If the pimps got this one area in the game, but it's going over there, it's making it hot for everybody. So they got to keep them things completely separate, even though, especially over there, where they at, it's hard to, like, completely, completely, fully separate both of them, but it is what it is. Be correct, though, trying to break some more for the spot. If he taxes, we won't worry about that. We was game banging. But if he trying to come pay his taxes, the older homies is probably doing that. We was game banging. We won't worry about no money or none of that type of shit. We was game banging. Hey! Oh, gang, get up on her. She got the curly hair and everything. She not worried about y'all. She like, I'm just got off of work. Damn, man. She like, I just got off of work. I ain't worried about this. Right right too, man. It goes down right here. T.I. in the wheelchair on hold. You had nowhere to go, right there. Uh -huh. You go right there, you got home sleep, on hold, good. Good. Oh, 611, West 8 first year, good put on, like they said. You know what I'm saying? The shark was born on, right here, but I'm off the phone. The people behind, you trying to just come through, and this is a bunch of niggas right in your parking spot. You can't really be as, you can't really oh, be too thing. loud. That's what the regular people would be tripping on. They be calling the police on us and shit because the parking, bro. We would pull up, park anywhere. Double park, block people, yeah. cars in, all type of shit. On these streets, like her right here, we know her good. Mama, how you doing? Hey, what's up? Hey, how you doing? These are peoples right here, man. They log us in. One time, look, I told this nigga, we told this nigga, right? We hanging out, don't ride the mini bike. My boy rides the mini bike, right? Drunk, they having a party right here. You know, you know the man's ain't party, you know what I'm saying? Whack my boy off the mini bike. Right here. This is probably them. This is probably them right here. Whack my boy off the mini bike. They smacked me one of Had my boy knocked out down here. We hanging out down there the whole time. Never knew. Damn, the homies down there. I'm about to go fast down the clock. As soon as I get right here, this weird ass nigga turned right in here. I'm coming this way. He just turned right in front of me. He was so drunk, he didn't even know what he did. Nigga, I was knocked out in the air. I woke up on the ground. I woke up. I'm telling them, like, man, let me call my homies. They down the street. They're like, hell no, you ain't calling your homies. Like, I'm like, they like, you can call the police. I'm like, no, I'm trying to call the homies. They down the street. I get, they finally let me call the homies. The homies come down here tripping on them. I'm days now, all type of shit, getting in the ambulance. I see the homies tripping on them. What the fuck y'all do to the homies? All type of crazy shit. They about to squabble <laughs> these niggas. The really, side of the streets. All that good shit. You Man. know what I'm saying? One time? Ooh. I'm from over. That's where I'm going to go. Fuck being Mexican. Fuck all this bullshit that they be talking about. Because when I went in there, I seen uh, like two black dudes from Playboys 13. Shit. I ain't seen uh, like two black dudes from Playboy stuff that they be talking about. Cause when I went in there, I seen uh, like two black dudes from Playboy 13. Shit, I ain't got, I ain't got nothing to do with them. They ain't got nothing to do with me. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's in a two way jail, far spot. Squabble up, bust yeah. a nigga down. It's regular. No, ain't turning nothing no, down. Where well, saw Hoover? They be tripping. Right you gotta be like I'm tripping too. What's up with it? I'm so, a young nigga. So you go to prison, you gonna still ride with the, the blacks? Yup. I'm riding with Hoover's, bro. A couple of us too, bro. It's a couple of Hispanics from Hoover's. You gonna hear about it? I'm one, I'm one of the ones, though. From the other Hispanic gangs, do they look at you kind of crazy that you yep. like the black? Yep. For sure they do. All the time. Because in Hispanic gangs, you gotta get permission to fight other motherfuckers and you gotta do this and do that. Certain protocols, right? Nah, with us, we gonna get, we gonna get straight to it. You from where? Oh, I'm from West Hoover, San we gonna take it there, we're gonna take it there. He coming in. Yeah, them stare downs get serious. Y'all see that right there? Other dude talking, he paying attention though. Other dude talking, but he paying attention. He really, he really ready for whatever. Even on camera, you can see that he ready for whatever. Other dude talking and walking, ain't paying attention. He got his head on a swivel, ready for whatever. Catch that look, catch that look. What's up? It be like that, man. It be like that. But I don't even, I don't bang or nothing like that, man. It's so many times, bro. You look, they look, they throwing up whatever they throw up. It's whatever, really, to me. But um, if the energy like that, you know what I'm saying? This situation, him looking, him looking, all it takes is one person to say, fuck it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Who knows what's gonna happen from there at that point? But oh, talking about old dude being Mexican, man, that's that's tough, bro. Just because I don't know, bro. I feel like Mexican gang politics is just different, bro. It's different. So you know, I, I I'm assuming if he been to jail before, probably been like that, probably ain't had no issues, but. I, I just start thinking about, like, the whole money sign sway stuff and just other things. Like, they politics is just different. I can't really speak on any of it because I don't know nothing about that. But, yeah. 
you know. Hey, that green truck moving. He busting the left too. That beamer? That green truck. He's gonna bust the left. In the front. Party's in the front. Truck. Gotta pay attention. He just went past. Now I'm full of truck. Yeah. Gotta pay attention out there, man. That's just that's the trenches. That's the hood. You can't even blame them for the way they gotta act. They gotta act that way or be like that and move that way based on the environment that they in. It just is what it is. Sometimes uh, you gotta commend the people that go to all these hoods and stuff because they putting themselves in dangerous situations. Me being from out, bro, my uncle lives in Hoover territory, but like in the 50s. So that's like the bottoms. They over there in like the low bottoms, like even farther down. So uh, where my uncle lives is dangerous. Where they at is even more dangerous. So uh, just be careful, man. Be careful. It's interesting that they get this insight to what's going on. Uh, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, man, send me more videos to react to. Get at me in the comments. Get at me on Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff, man. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Remember to keep it real, 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 real,